Hello, you're welcome. How to solve this nice algebra problem? We have x raised to power 8 plus x raised to power 4 divided by x raised to power 7 plus x raised to power 5 equals to 7 over 3. Here we find the value of x given that x is greater than 0, that is, x is not a negative number. From here, let's divide the numerator and the denominator by x raised to power 6. So we have x raised to power 8 plus x raised to power 4 divided by x to power 6 here. And also, we do the same thing here. We have 4 divided by x raised to power 7 plus x raised to power 5 also divided by x raised to power 6 which is then equals to 7 over 3 then in the next step we can separate this fraction here then this will be x raised to power 8 divided by x raised to power 6 then plus x raised to power 4 divided by x raised to power 6 then over x raised to power 7 divided by x raised to power 6 plus x raised to power 5 divided by x raised to power 6. Then when we apply the law of indices from here, okay, this should be equal to 7 over 3, this. Then applying the law of indices, we can write this again as x raised to power 8 minus 6 since they divide and they have the same base we can subtract the power and also here we can write it as plus 1 over x raised to power 6 minus 4 from here then divided by similarly here we have x raised to power 7 minus 6 plus 1 over x raised to power 6 minus 5 which is equals to 7 over 3 then in the next step this becomes 8 minus 6 that's 2 we have x square plus 1 over also 6 minus 4 that's 2 that we also have 1 over x square then divided by from here this give us 7 minus 1, that's just 1, so that's the x, then plus 1 over x as well, which is equal to 7 over 3. Then, you can equally write x squared plus 1 over x squared in form of x plus 1 over x, that is, when we have x plus 1 over x all square, the expansion here gives us x squared, plus 2 times x times 1 over x, that's plus 2 times x times 1 over x, then plus 1 over x squared, which is 1 over x, then square. Then from here, this x will cancel out this x. So on this side, you are left with x square plus 1 over x square, then plus 2. Now we can take these two to this side such that we now have x plus 1 over x all square then minus 2 now will then be equals to only this left here which is x square plus 1 over x square. So now instead of writing x square plus 1 over x square we can equally write x plus 1 over x all square minus 2 so that on this side now what we are going to have up here will be x plus 1 over x all square minus 2 then divided by x plus 1 over x which is equal to 7 over 3 from there so from here this is equals to 7 over 3 then in the next step since we have x plus 1 over x common let's use a letter for that so let u be equals to x plus 
1 over x. Then we can write this expression as that equation as u square minus 2 over u equals to 7 over 3. Then we can cross multiply from here. Actually, we multiply this so we have 3u square minus this is 3u square then minus 6 when 3 multiply this equals to 7u then let's take 7u to this side to form an equation so we have 3u square minus 7u minus 6 will then be equals to 0 then we can factorize from here when we multiply the first and the last term that gives us minus 18u square then we can break it into two factors such that the sum of the factors will be minus 7u so we have minus 9u plus 2u of course the product here will give us minus 18u square and the sum will give us minus 7u so we can now rewrite this quadratic equation and that will simply be 3 u square minus 9u plus 2u minus 6 equals to 0 and we factor what is common out here we have 3u then into bracket u minus 3 left then plus what is common here is 2 then into bracket u minus 3 which is equals to 0 so we have u minus 3 common here we bring it out u minus 3 then what is left here is 3u then what is left here is plus 2 which is equals to 0 then from here we have two possible cases we have u minus 3 equals to 0 or we have 3u plus 2 equals to 0 from here u equals to 3 and from here 3u equals to minus 2 which when we divide both sides by 3 u will now be equals to minus 2 over 3 and then when we collect from what we represented u as we say let u be equals to x plus 1 over x which is equals to 3 on this side and on this side we still have x plus 1 over x which is equals to minus 2 over 3 since we said x should be greater than 0 from the beginning it means here it cannot be equals to minus 2 over 3 so this is not possible from here then from this side now we saw by clearing the fraction let's multiply through by x so when we clear the fraction and multiply through by x this becomes x squared then plus x times 1 over x that's 1 equals to 3 times x that's 3x then we can take 3x here to form an equation we have x squared minus 3x plus 1 will then be equal to 0 then from here we can solve this quadratic equation and uh, we have the formula method x will then be equal to minus b that's minus minus 3 plus or minus square root of b square that's minus 3 square minus 4 a a is 1 then c is also 1 over 2 a 2 times 1 then from here when we simplify this gives us minus times minus here that's plus we have x now equals to 3 plus or minus square root of minus 3 square is 9 then we have minus 4 here over 2 so from here x will then be equals to 3 plus or minus square root of 9 minus 4 that's 5 over 2 so we have two values of x here we have the first value that is x1 equals to 3 plus root 5 over 2 and x2 equals to 3 minus root 5 over 2. So here we have come to the end of this class. Thank you for watching. Don't forget these steps.
subscribe for more exciting videos and give your thumbs up also put your comment thank you see you next class then bye for now